Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tamara's Bargain. And yes, this is Tamara. I wear glasses now. So, with them off and with them on. So, if this is your first time ever viewing my channel or my videos, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And let's get into my Dollar Tree haul that I went to my local Dollar Tree over the weekend and oh my goodness i always have so much fun there i went on a sunday night and grabbed some great finds so if you see on my wall right now you'll see some of the pictures that i grabbed and i also did a come with me which i will link the video um down below in my descriptions but right now you'll see the signs or the pictures that i picked up at dollar tree and they're so cute so they had this one which is like the bath um, bathtub and it's like a light mint color with some silver and some white and it says relax and it also came with two other designs one with the little lion inside it that also said like relax or calm and a little elephant but I picked this one up because I thought this one was really pretty I don't know if I'm gonna use it in my bathroom or wherever but I just thought it was really cute also picked up a lot of laundry signs I know eventually I wanted to redo my our laundry room so surely it's gonna come but picked up a lot of laundry supplies for a dollar at dollar tree and i was actually really excited so the other signs that i came up with were the wash and dry laundry and also wash your hands please that's a really cute one i don't know if that might go in the bathroom or the kitchen but i also picked up this other one that says monday should be optional i agree then I came across these two finds that I was so excited. I actually got the last one of this one. And this one says laundry room, wash, dry, and fold with these cute little clothes pins on it. And it has the little string to hang up. And this was so cute. I've seen other YouTubers haul this and I was like, couldn't wait until I came across my Dollar Tree. And finally it did. And I picked up the last one of this one. So this one was like the popular one. It's really cute. And also this one that says wash and dry open 24 hours. And with four kids, yeah, sometimes it does seem like your laundry room is open 24 hours. I also got these little wall stickers that are so cute. These, like I've used these in the past and these hold up really good on the wall. Like just follow the directions clean your wall, dry it, and they stick up. They hold up very well. So this is another one that I will put in the laundry room. It says wash, fold, dry, and repeat. And it just seems like, like I said, with four kids, it just seems like we always have laundry. Like our laundry baskets are always full with either dirty clothes and clean clothes. We're always doing laundry, always. Another great find that I found were actually the floating shelves and these are actually really cool. I was really shocked when I found these and there was actually a lot. It was like three boxes left at my Dollar Tree. But they have them, so far I've only seen them in the color black, but you could always spray paint these. And I don't know if I'm gonna use these for my husband in our room or the living room, or I was thinking maybe spray painting them like a pink glitter color and letting my daughters use this. But these are really cool and they are eight, it, the inches are 8.6 by four, four inches even, and it holds up to five pounds. It includes the two screws and the two wall anchors. So it's actually really cool. And that's how it looks to hang it up. And those are the little screws. And I thought these were really cool. So I picked up some of those. Then another great find that I found was these flower pots. And these are so cute. I know a lot of um uh crafters be using these and taking this part off with like the nail polish remover because it's easy to remove and this one says flower and gardens flowers and garden and this is really cute because if you do decide to remove that you could also like leave it plain or you could redecorate it or maybe put some of the rope around it for like a nice little craft change it up use it as maybe an easter basket or even put one of those little chalk labels on it where you could constantly change whatever you're using it for. Also, another great find that I found were 
these mermaid tattoos and they come in a pastel color with three tattoo sheets which are really cool and these like brighter colors with like turquoise purple brighter pink green really cute so we'll be trying these out or probably having these in our daughter's Easter basket but these are really cute and like I said it's a three pack for a dollar so those are really good that I found also came across some peanuts band-aids and I did a haul on um, Wonder Woman band-aids what uh, were the other band-aids I found last week oh nerf band-aids uh, lol surprise but I thought these were really cute because we totally love Knott's Berry Farm and the Peanuts movie. That movie was so cute when it came out. I'm hoping they'll do a part two. So hints to the person who made the Peanuts movie. You'd like to see a part two. But these are really cute. So if you come across those, another great find that I found were by Jolt. And these are little pens with like little squishies on top of them. And this one's a little pineapple and this one is a little um oh my gosh waffle with the syrup they also had um popcorn what was the other one well i'll link the video down below it was in a might come with me so you'll see those but these are really cute and they're squishy on the top so those were really cute that i found i also came across this game called escape room the game challenge so i thought that was actually really cool because i was trying to think what would go in my um 15 year old's easter basket so i thought something fun like this besides snacks and playstation 5 gift cards like i'm tired of the whole gift card thing so i try to look for stuff to put in their easter baskets stuff that are fun stuff that are different and found this so it's the escape room the game challenge and it has 2 million units of base game sold. Solve over 48 brain teasers under pressure, ages 16 and up. So pretty cool. So if you come across this, maybe pick that up and let me know how you like that. Also came across these bath bombs by Goddess. Well, this one is Goddess, but it, the brand is Onyx Bathhouse. And these are usually at Walmart. They usually run for $3.95 I would say but right now they are on clearance which I will link the picture in the corner and they are on clearance for two dollars so and these like really are good for your bath these are huge so when you throw them in usually like the glow the gold goes around like the tub and makes a really really like makes your water really pretty so if you come across these these are really good and like I said they're still at Walmart for two dollars another great find that I found were by scrunchies this little headband i'm not big on headbands or ribbons and stuff like that and my daughter's hairs are pretty simple too um but came across this and the reason why i don't like stuff like this is my head's too big so they fall off my head so but i picked this one up hopefully maybe this lasts on my head and won't slip off but it's a cute little design and they can't they actually had a lot of little designs but if you come across these in your store, this is named Brand, and they have some cute designs. They also have like other little scrunchies besides head wraps and headbands. And another item that I found was by Sassy and Chic, and it's cubicle oil and nail strengthener. So I'm gonna try that out because my nails do need that. And I'll be doing a review on this and another item by Sassy and Chic and this one is going to be a shadow switching sponge so I'm actually excited about this item. So these were some of the items that I found on my Sunday visit to the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys like and if you um, tried any of these products out let me know how you liked them in my comments. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.